Well, hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 5-5 Grand Arena. My first opponent for the season is actually a rematch, and it is MEC R9 Kit Fisto. They're in most obviously Cantina. They've got 863,000 legacy score. They got 11.7 .7 million GP, so more GP than me. However, they did struggle on my defense system. And they've uh, full cleared me though, but I'll show you my friend's zones real quick. You know, this Hera, Dash, Qui-Gon, Finn. I'm not really sure what to do for this first week, so... Things will probably be radically getting changed. I don't know, honestly. And Leia, they struggled on my Rey and Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. And then uh, Sears down here. But, anyways, that's enough of that defense. Now for his. So, I knew he would be going heavy GL-wise, so... I'm not sure what to do against Qui-Gon. We have Leia... Their own Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, JMK. So, you know, fun times to be had there, unfortunately. Um, and then down south, I got Tuskins. We got uh, Vader Gas with Captain Rex, which doesn't make sense because the Omni will not be active in uh, 5v5. But okay, and then JML. And yeah, let's deal with some of the stuff up north first because I need to knock out the GLs to see what I can use where kind of deal. Um, yeah, we'll deal with Leia first. Uh, okay, so whenever they gain buffs, they have health, protection, recovery, deflection, resistance. And whenever he drops below 50% health, he reduces the cooldowns by one and gains 10% TM. The issue with this is that, um, Mon Mothma is here to help revive people, so that is going to be extremely annoying to contend with. And, um, yeah, but we're just gonna job up because I imagine that's what he did against my Leia, but I didn't want to put his my Vader down on defense because he does have focus on Mandalore. So I don't know if she's on defense in the back or if. He saved it for offense. I'd imagine he saved it for offense, but I'm not going to assume until I know for certain, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and give him our criticals. Throw back to Jabba real quick. I can click on him. Let's do a little laugh. I want to get some more thermals on Drogon, firstly. Uh, let's do another one of them. Okay. Um, let's do that. I didn't expect to kill R2, but I just wanted to get more damage out on the field on him. So whenever I do the bomb throw with Leia, it may kill him, potentially. I'm not really holding my breath, though. I really want Mon out the way, but that is not going to happen. So... Okay, when is it going to be Boosh's turn? There we go. Oh, nice. We got Mon as well. Excellent. I wasn't sure if it was going to get Mon Mothma or not, but I'm happy it did because, yeah, I I did that same thing with my Leia team. Obviously, I threw Mon Mothma in there, but, you know. Obviously, it's not a guaranteed, you know, workaround for reviving uh, your rebels if she's dead. Let's go ahead and flat her. Relic 9 old Ben as well. It's ridiculous, man. Alright, that's one GL down. Okay, um, JMK I'm worried about just because it's JMK. The good thing is, there's one good thing, is it's not the no revive cron. But it is blind, so it is annoying. Stacking offense is going to be annoying. But I do have Reva on offense, if I remember correctly. I got to get used to looking further down because of the Gungan faction being added. Um, let's see. We do have this. Uh, I do have a couple options. I may go with the Doubt Cron. This one. These the offense boost as well. So. We're going to hope this works, but I also don't want to drop any battles because even though he only dropped 
what, three battles across the board. I need to get this killed cleanly before I really, um... And then, well, I gotta obviously be clean on the whole thing, obviously. Um, clean across the board is what I'm trying to say, because I don't know what the back zone holds. And I won't know until I get to the back zone, obviously. So... I also have some bombs. Um, who got? Okay. I didn't know who got damage immunity. I'm just trying to figure that out. Um, let's go with the basic. Let's throw that up. Just basic because. Oh, well, ooh, interesting. Ahsoka got death marked. All right, we're gonna armor shred Padme. Or just kill her flat out. Beautiful. See, if that had been the no revive scoundrel cron, I would not have been doing Reva here. Just that's that's just a given. But because it wasn't, it works. So of course he's gonna get all those debuffs gotten rid of, but it's not the biggest of worries because now it's just JMK by himself. He can still do a lot of damage though. It's just he's really... He's got himself in an uphill battle kind of deal. Uh, let's bomb him. Uh, trying to figure out who needs protection. And let's torture. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so whenever they gain buffs, they recover health protection. Ooh. Okay, so they'll be gaining a lot of protection back because that defense pin up and offense up. They do have a little bit of extra potency and deflection. Okie dokie. That's tricky. Um, we're just going to go with JMK, though. No point in trying to be too bombastic with my teams here. These banners are going to be key for this first week. I do have a, actually a alliance. Uh, one of the guys in Dagobah is in my bracket. Which is funny. I don't know who he got matched up against, but... Okay, that's annoying that we got a... Uh, cooldown creased, but it's fine. Rather unavoidable at times, but you know, it's fine. Um, let's get rid of those debuffs. That's basic. Oh, I probably should have done the leap with um, Ahsoka there. Uh, at the basic. I really need to get into mini ult with JMK. But with that fracture, he's not gaining any TM. Let's do this, so that way we can cleanse off some of those debuff. Let's swarm, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna full ult, huh? Okay, luckily it'll be after Vader's, so that's good. Of course, he's still like heav- there we go. That's it, he's still like heavily behind everyone else. Now we can go for Molly Maul. I still haven't even killed anyone with the leap yet. Whose turn is in next? Okay, Vader, then JMK. Uh, we're gonna leap with him. We're gonna kill Maul off before he can do his multi attack. We'll do this. Um, this is a really bold strategy to put. Okay, well, I say it's bold strategy, but it makes sense to put Vader on defense, but I didn't put mine on defense because. I know he has bow, and I really did not want him to be given three banners that way, so. That's why I'll have Vader available for something. I don't know what, though, but something. Mm, I forgot. Days. Uh, let's get an armor shred on him. Doesn't hurt. Uh, let's do that. Get rid of those dazes. Beautiful. I'm just going all in as much as I can on Vader before we lose the capabilities of doing so. 
Okay, that's annoying, but luckily he could not heal. Now let's throw it back on him. Good, no more healing for now. Another basic. Let's get some bonus protection back up. We will mini ult just to get around the Royal Guard. I know it seems like a bold strategy to do, but I need to get Vader down before he went back into ult, you know? Beautiful. Sorry, I'm trying to... I've been trying to make up my mind what to do. So, 25% chance to sell all debuffs on himself. They're going to be annoying. Uh, we've got Rebel Fighters, obviously. Well, Rebel Fighter, I should say singular, because it's just uh, Rex there then. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? I don't think I should undersize it, so I'll probably grab a uh, drawer real quick, just to be on the safer side. But the reason why I'm doing Lord Vader here is because I would like to use C against his JML. So, yeah. Go ahead and get this ramping. Good. Now we can go for fives. I know Rex is going to form up in a second. But that's fine. I don't care. Good lord. They got through that quickly. Of course, they're really not helping themselves. <laughs> By going so many turns. Let's go into ult. Really weird having Vader or Vader on offense, but it's more for defensive for not really defensive, but you know, I kind of would like to have him. Okay, this one actually might be a bit of a timeout risk because of Captain Rex constantly giving them protection recovery. Um do this. Good lord, we're like hardly tickling them. Okay, let's fracture again. Bro, we just got you in nap time, bro. What the hell? Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe I should just go for Rex whenever uh, gas goes down. That is if I can get him down again. Because he seems to be the prime reason why this is not working. Okay, we're going straight for Captain Rex. Because he's starting to piss me off. Good grief. We're doing no damage. Okay, he's back in nap time. Let's do this. Let's go for Captain Rex. There we go. Okay, no more protection recovery. Wait, is it the Datacron that's also going? No, it's not the Datacron. Okay, that was a little much gas, but okie dokie. Let's go for fives. Because he needs to be dead to ensure they don't get any bonus stats. That could have been really bad, honestly. I mean, he still could be pretty bad with gas waking up in a second, but, you know. Beautiful. Alright. Not played out the way I was expecting it to, but that's more my fault than anything. And also, Relic 9 gas is really durable. Alrighty, then. We don't have to worry about a Datacron on this team, luckily, because, well, 
there is no Datacron. Don't know why he didn't put one on this team, but I'm uh, not going to complain. I'm going to take in Set just to be on the safer side. I'm going to take in this Doubtcron. Because why not? Alrighty, so we're gonna throw that down. And pretty soon we won't have to keep worrying about doing a uh, Watt with C anymore. Because this time next week we'll have Bane. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. I wonder how badly my comments today will age <laughs> whenever we get Bane. Oh my lord. I really need them to keep taking turns so we can get rid of their protection. Like, come on, keep taking your turns. I want you to harm yourself. Uh, let's get some protection back on Waddy Watt. Um. Okay, we're gonna link him and uh, Bastila. Why not get a little protection destruction on her? Or reduction, at least, you know. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Jolie has the no revive attack on him. That's interesting. Alright, um. I need a turn with C if I can relink people. Because I wanted to link Hoda and uh, Jolie, but whatever. Now he's got to do a lot of basics on him because he's got a lot of bonus protection on him right now still. Like we gotta get inside a health pool. Two hundred K health recovery or is that protection recovery, I wonder? We're going to have enough damage output, though, to get into JML's health pool, though. Like, we're doing chunks of damage, it's just he keeps recovering it, so I think I may have displayed this, honestly. 200k compared to my 100k damage. Like, that is insanity. It's all because of Bastila leading the tank tech on him. Absolutely ridiculous what JML can do. I just must get an auto because I don't know if we'll actually kill him or not, honestly, at this point. 71,000, not with that kind of damage output. There goes Watt, finally. Is JML really going to be something that holds me down, really? Of all the of all the teams, to slow me down. It's going to be JML. I think it is because I misplayed it. I probably should have waited longer to do the ult. to use to clean up this team because I don't have gas, I don't have CLS because those are on defense. Um, let's see what I can find on .gg. And I don't have Reva, obviously. Hmm. Don't know. Don't honestly know what I'm going to do. Hmm. 
Oh well, that's all my own fault. I don't really have anyone to blame but myself. Well, that is a bastard for having a relic 9 JML, like. Yeah. It is what it is. Critically hit, they're recovering health. And of course, the Tuscan Warrior is starting off with a massive chunk of, uh, what is it called? Um, momentum. So, I don't need Sidious. Um, alright. Um, as much as I like to save this for another, um, like another Empire team. I'd rather kill the Tuscans in one fell swoop, especially after dropping on JML, so. Um, who do I want to isolate, though? Um, let's isolate her. Okay, so we got increased cooldowns on Warrior and is it R -R 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 back there? Yeah, it's R -R 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 -R. Uh, let's just keep going on uh, Chieftain. He's eventually he's got to crumble. Uh, let's do this again. Why not? Hmm, almost got him killed. There we go. Alright. Now the problem is going to be is the rest of their momentum causing the game to lag. Because they are still gaining momentum even though the person that helps supply it being dead. Because that makes sense. Oof, Savage. Nice, we got a kill. With Talon. My plan is I'm a nuke warrior with um, Nihilus. That's the idea, at least at the moment. Okay, there goes that. Let's do this. Let's throw the sabers. Beautiful. Let's have more lag because of the stupid momentum. Like, CG needs to fix that. Like, goddamn stupid how much it causes lag. Not even just on, like, blue stacks and all that. It's like, even on your phone it does that. Alright, um... I'm gonna try the JML cleanup mirror. So, uh... Yeah, wish me luck. Um... Uh, not sure why not. In, yeah. I don't know if you if you all... If you didn't watch my video from last week. Look over, like, account reviews. Finally got Janet like Cow started up on my main here. Finally, I should say. So, um Oh, that's not the right person, but whatever. But yeah, no, I finally got him started getting him worked up. Just because it's kind of high time I did so. So let's go ahead and get Janet Knight loot called. Let's do a delete. Uh let's call Cal to assist, why not? Start getting uh, force connection worked on over here on Mr. Kyle Katarn. Let's do that. I just do this. Then we do a leap. Almost got him. Well, that was nifty. Alright, so Dark Strip and Mock Gideon. Ooh, offense, roll, potency, resistance, deflection. Wonder if, like, debuffs, they have stacking critical chance. Interesting. We are going to. Where is the first order? There they are. We are going to do Hilo, obviously. Duh. 
Really shouldn't be a surprise there. Um, We'll take this one. Why not? Or we could take one of the other ones. Hmm. Yeah, let's take some armor pin. Because I imagine they will be quite bulky, and I have no idea how well this is going to go. He's my... This guy, I mean, he struggled against mine pretty heavily. So... Let's go ahead and poke Gideon. Let's swarm that Gideon. He should be permadead, I think. I don't really know. Uh, okay. They're getting a lot of turns. That's annoying. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's call that Poke Stormtrooper. Now we're going to go back to Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. We're going to do another leap. Beautiful. Oof. Okay, this is definitely the right call then. Uh, let's go ahead and leap again. It means I should kill Storm. Beautiful. Alright. Now it's just a matter of smacking him down. Swarm. Another basic. Basic. Just gonna do a lot of basics. That way we get more Siphon. He's already even... I already had him, you know, stun. But we'll stun him again. Uh, let's do that. That should kill him. There we go. Okay. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but... Yeah, I'll take that. Now... We're gonna try to deal with some of these back teams real quick. Um... So, this saw team's worry. Saw the little This saw team worries me because you got Relic Nine on Bays and Citru Kron, and of course, whenever the game buffs the recovering health protection. Uh, I'm gonna go with Afra though. Because supposedly she has a good win ratio against a uh, win record against this team. Not Dark Trooper. Uh, we need B two though. Um, let's take an IG-88, why not? But, apparently, apparently Afra has a good win ratio against this. Because I imagine she goes first, she increase, increases their cooldowns. And since, uh, they're not Empire, they can't be stunned. I, well, they still could be stunned, I think, by Kara, if I'm remembering correctly. But, I was like, Imperials, it's like a guaranteed kind of thing. So... Go get rid of them buffs. And have lag ensue. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this again. There we go. Let's torture Baze. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's get some burning on the floor. Nice. That'll kill Kyle as well. Oof. Beautiful. Okay, let's rock it. Nice. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't even close. Okay. That was... That was brutal. That wasn't slightly close. Um, The Seer team does worry me, though. Okay, maybe... Mm, well, no, it's still bottom you because of the buffs and... Because whenever they get buffs, they can be dispelled or getting offense, and he is Relic 8. So that is going to be a pain to um, contend with. I'm not even going to try to act like it won't be. Uh... Mm, that armor pin should help a little bit, but eyes worry about how this fight will go. Um, because Malakos does not care about taunts. That's the one thing I hate about him. Uh, do that. Throw some... Well, that didn't work, but that's fine. That works better. Just basic Malakos. Because I want to keep the fear... On, so that way, uh, Malik is taunting. Uh, let's kill him. Good. 
Um, who do we want to go for? Let's go for Al. I know Seer can do Seer things, but if I can get through Cal first, that'd be really beneficial for me. Uh, let's do this. Because he can heal, and I don't like that. Hey, no fear is annoying, but whatever. Uh, maybe this will land? It did. Oh, and then he immediately got rid of it. Good job. Um, nice. <laughs> that was a waste of the turns here. This. Okay, that was better than I expected. I didn't expect it to actually damage her that much, to be completely honest. Alright. I'm going for Fulcrum here because she's going to constantly be wasting turns healing. Or did that effect still persist even though Malakos is dead? Like the Levi thing whenever they drop to 1% health. That may have been it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's, uh, blap. Let's, uh, yoink. And goodbye. Alright. Um, oh, no revive Kron. Okay, and then stacking offense. Oh boy, this may be like a multi-battle thing, unless my Jedi work. Hmm. Um, yeah, this is going to be painful. Because I have the conundrum of, like, do I... My issue is, the obviously, the Qui-Gon team has Kellerin on it. So I really didn't want to do Bad Batch against it. Because with Kellerin on the team, they're, it's like really anti-Bad uh, Batch. So I was torn between doing, obviously... Uh, what to do, basically. So, I'm gonna do, um... Okay, um... I really need to get a stun on him. Uh, let's call... Actually, no, we can just go for... Oh, right now, I guess, but... If I can get my... Good grief. Okay, um, we need to heal desperately. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, so immediately cleanses, and now he's not coming back. Okay. And now he's not coming back. Alrighty, this is going to be a multi-tap team. Of course it is. Because, you know, why would you want to kill it in one go kind of deal, you know? Um, let's go with that. I really just hate Zori teams as a whole, to be completely honest. But, uh, let's do this. Let's get rid of Finn. Um, let's do that. And of course, they immediately gun down uh, Bastila. Well, that was fucking annoying. Whatever. It is what it is. Not much I could do about that one. Um... Oh, not Imperial Remnant. I was going to do Iden to clean this up. Uh, yeah, we'll just take Stark because he's the only non droid, non. Uh, you know, non everything. But, uh, anyways. I don't remember what I was saying now. Oh, the, Kel the Qui Gon team. I didn't want to do Bad Batch because I didn't know how much Keller would mess it up, so we're going to start Killer it. So, we'll see how well that goes in a second. Uh, that's basic. Let's do this. Let's get the heal up. Stomp the ground some. And goodbye. I wonder if Iden could have worked as a first go team against that. Probably not, but maybe. I just, I don't know. Uh, Alright, so, yeah. Full Galactic Republic. Got Ke a Relegate Kellerin. Of course, they have stacking offense based off their buffs. We are going to Star Killer this. 
So, um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how well this goes. Because I've not fought a Relic 8 Kellerin before. And I really do not look forward to fighting more high Relic Kellerin teams. I'm under Qui-Gon, obviously, with Cam and uh, Anakin. So, you know. Alright, let's throw that down. I know it's not going to land on anything, but... Beautiful waste of that. Let's go ahead with the stun. Alrighty then. That is annoying. Um... Oh, I don't know who I want to stun. We really need to get Anakin out. Okay, now we need to get Cam out of the way. Or don't. That's cool. Okay, then. This team is stupid. Okay. That was not pretty. Alright. What do we got on fleets? Ah, the Leviathan. Okay. Of course, you have a Relic 9. Um, obviously, Darth Malagos, we don't have Relic 9 on Sass, which is a bit more pertinent for this fleet to really get supercharged. Um, I'm really not going to complain, though. So, a couple drops across the board, but not really much you could do about that, honestly, especially all things considered. You know, like the Finn team, I don't know what I really could have done better. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Aiden could have done it better, like as a start, but I don't really necessarily know. And then, um, obviously, that drop in the front zone was more just a matter of. Me misplaying it was C. Let's go ahead and destroy their hangers. Kill off their sass. Who are they calling in? Ah! That's a stupid. I don't get why the AI does that. Like, the AI, for some reason, most of the time, whenever you're doing your Leviathan mirrors, and either squad arena, GAC, or even. Uh, Territory Wars. It always seems to call in the Interceptor first. I mean, I understand why, so that way whatever the ship doesn't get blown to bits because of the, uh, if your engines or hangers destroy, you know, you're gonna lose that ship, but like, it's just so weird. It makes sense, though. It's just, I find it odd, is all. From a coding standpoint, I guess what I'm trying to get at it makes sense, but, uh, yeah. Because the shuttle would be dead if the uh, interceptor hadn't come in first. Now we can just hit auto because well, there's not really much else to do. Other focus down the interceptor first and then, then kill off the shuttle afterwards. I'm just happy I get to do this all in one go. Instead of have to worry about like, recording the outro on Thursday. I do appreciate the guy though. I thank you, man, for at least getting me it all in one shot. Alrighty, that's done. Because uh, I don't really enjoy doing Rebels against the Malevolence fleet. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I just don't prefer, prefer not doing it. I guess what I'm trying to get at. Alright, um, let's go for Anakin. That way they can get the Panic Heal off. Nice. Now we got the mark on him. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. 
I do need a turn though, game. I know I took like several before you, but like. <laughs> it is my turn now. Beautiful. Okay, that's annoying, but not much I can do about that. We can get more charge. Bye bye. And a cunt. Uh, let's go after the Marauder. Oh, I need to watch Wednesday's episode of Bad Batch after I get done recording. I almost forgot about that. I didn't mind the first three episodes, not gonna lie. It was, I felt like it could have been like condensed into like two, maybe, but like, eh, it makes sense, like, I guess, to make it three. But like I said, I'm not really too upset with it so far. It'll be interesting to see um, how things go for the season. Because I imagine they'll have to. Well, not have to. They're obviously going to get uh, Omega reconnect, Omega and Crosshair reconnected with uh, the rest of the Bad Batch. And then obviously they're going to all join Rex and probably Echo in the Clone Rebellion of some sort against the Empire. All while running from the Empire to keep Omega alive. So it's probably like going to be the big thing of the season is like running from the Empire to keep Omega alive while also engaging in an insurrection against the Empire with uh, fellow clones. I do wonder if they're going to go back for Hauser, though, on Mount Tantis, because we saw him on Tantis, obviously, but, like, obviously he did not escape with Crosshair and Omega, so maybe we'll have some episode where they try to rescue him if he gets moved to a different facility, because I don't believe, even with the escape of Crosshair and Omega from Tantis, they're going to relocate the entire cloning complex elsewhere. Because that'd be a lot of resources. And considering how built up Tantus is as a whole, I highly doubt they'd do that in the first place. And, I mean, the Empire's not the brightest of bunch, but you know. Okay, who... Okay, then. That's annoying. Um. Wow. Alrighty, then. Why are we not getting assist, though? There we go. That's what I was looking for. This is not going well. Um, if I don't get a turn, I'm not going to be able to heal Boba. And I'm not going to be a happy camper. There we go. Get rid of that. Let's go ahead and not kill them somehow. Well, I didn't really expect the spy to die, but like... I also didn't really expect all the buzz joys to live, but whatever. Oh my god, please stop taking turns. That was basic. Okay, let's, I guess, call an IG. Good. Okay, that was... How? What the hell? That's not working properly. That didn't work properly. All the ships were gone and it still got a reinforcement called in. That's bugged. Okay, even with all that, I won. So, I mean, I'll take it. 1800 to 1748, even with that drop on the Finn team and the drop on JML, that was more my fault than anything. I probably should have waited longer or maybe... I mean, maybe armor. No, I don't think armor would have helped, really. But whatever. I will take it. It was a win against an old opponent, and I'm not going to complain. Uh, if you all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of y'all's day.